Hi everyone, welcome to my studio. I've gotten lots of requests for a TheraBand mat class, so that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to use a medium to heavy resistance. If you feel like you might need a, lot, a lighter one to add to it, just bring in two and you can switch off. We're going to start standing, so grab your TheraBand and come on up. I'm going to start with my feet about hip distance apart. Palms are going to be facing me. I want you to start with a gentle roll down and just give that micro bend position in the knees. Drop that tailbone down. Lift that pubic bone up. Deep inhale. And as you exhale, gently round the spine. Inhale there. And then exhale, bring it right back up. Again, we inhale at the top, we exhale. Inhale and exhale. We'll do one more like that. We breathe in at the top and again, just gently bending those knees. Breathe in there and roll it up. Open the legs just a little bit wider and let's go ahead and take our TheraBand folding it in half. We're going to do some good old squats. So bending the knees as you breathe in, lifting the TheraBand, exhale, return. Inhale and Exhale. I think of reaching my shins back, so I'm sitting in those heels. And up. And inhale. And keeping that spine long throughout the movement. Let's do four more. And hinging at the hips. And three. And two, and one. Reach those arms up. Inhale over to your right. Feel that stretch on that left side. And bring it back to center. And over to the left. And center. As if I'm up against a wall. Over to the right and up and lengthening my spine as I'm reaching over and again over and reaching that right side when I go to the left let's do one more each direction and last one over and bring it up, lower the arms, and coming down onto your mat, we're going to go into our pelvic curl. Rolling down, feet and knees are parallel. Let's go ahead and take the band about shoulder distance. Let's reach those arms behind you. Feel that stretch, but feel that melting of the ribs. I'm just going to take a look, make sure I'm in the right position. I breathe in here. And as we exhale, let's roll it up. Inhale at the top. Exhale. Again, inhale. And try not to immediately go into my glutes and hamstrings. Thinking of those abdominals containing that position, keeping it all connected. And again. Inhale. And we'll do two more like that. Tipping that pelvis, lifting that lumbar, Lifting that thoracic, reaching those arms. Inhale. 
and we'll do one more. Inhale there. And I feel like I need just one more. My spine is asking for it. We breathe in. And inhale there. And slowly rolling it down. Let's keep our arms right where they are. Anchor it all down into the mat. Draw those knees in one at a time. We go into our spine twist supine. As I inhale, I exhale. I inhale and exhale. And I'm keeping that upper body anchored. Inhale, not letting my ribs splay. Exhale. Again, inhaling. And, and I usually know how far I can go when I go a little bit past it. Inhale, so right about there, I start to lose the connection. And center, over towards the left. And center, we'll do one more each side. Over, exhale. And one more. And keep the legs where they are. Just want to take a quick look, make sure I'm correct. We go into our hundreds prep, inhaling. As we exhale, we lead with those arms. We lift the head and chest. Lift a little higher without pulling your shoulders forward. And then start to lift the arms and lower the chest. Again. And keeping my collarbones wide in the front, long. And so I don't pull my shoulders. I don't want to internally rotate the shoulders. I want to flex the thoracic spine. And exhale. And inhale. We have three more. And down. Two. And down. One more. Holding it there. Inhale. And exhale. We have two more just like this to establish this nice isometric contraction of the trunk. Hold. Rotate to the right, and now lower, and lift those legs. And when you lift the legs, think of lifting the trunk, two, and pull forward with the trunk, but don't internally rotate the shoulders any more than they already are, four, let's do one more, is five, hold, let's take the body over, Lift first and then inhale. One. And I'm looking right outside of that thigh. Two. I'm maintaining flexion with rotation. Three. And exhale. Four. I'm trying to reach towards that TheraBand. One more. Go back to center. Take the hands. Reach them behind. Just put that TheraBand right behind the head. Lower the feet. Let's keep those inner thighs together and give me some chest lift with rotation. Exhale and inhale. Keeping those abdominals in. And two more sets. One more. Last one. Hold. Slide the legs out. Reach the arms and lower. And stretch. And then reestablish your position. Let's go right into our roll-ups. Arms are shoulder distance. Palms are facing each other. 
We inhale. We exhale. That first one is always a challenge. Now, I want to pull my lower abdominals back, reach my fingertips forward without pulling my shoulder blades forward. I want to keep my scapula at home. And then as I exhale again, I slowly roll down, just straightening my body out a little bit and all the way back again. So again, I want to pull my lower abdominals back, reach my upper body forward, feel that nice hollowness through my center, and slowly roll it down again. If your TheraBand whaps you in the face, you can double it up if needed. And inhale. And exhale. Again, I inhale, I exhale. I'm going to make my arms just a little bit narrower. I feel like they're a little wide for me. And, and let's do two more. We breathe in, we breathe out. We inhale at the top. And And last time, I inhale, I exhale. Hold this position. Again, let's just reestablish that C curve. Just go a little bit deeper with those abdominals. And then keep this position, bend your knees, and slowly roll it down. Holding it right at the shoulder girdle. Draw your right knee in, draw your left knee in. We go into our hundreds. So I want you to place that TheraBand on top of the shins. Give some tension. We're going to keep it in tabletop. We're lifted. We're not coming down. We breathe in as we exhale. Three, four, five. In, two, three, four, five. Exhale. Three, two, three, four, five. Four, two. Three, four, five. Five, two, three, four, five. Six, two, three, four, five. Seven, two, three, four, five. Eight, two, three, four, five. Nine, two, three, four, five. And ten, two, three, four, five. Hold. Pull those knees a little bit closer. Take that left foot down. Bring your right foot right into the TheraBand. And lower the trunk. Straighten the leg. Pull those elbows. I'm going to take a look. Make sure my body is in correct position. Hold that there. Open those shoulders. Getting a bit of a hamstring stretch. And breathe. Trying to take that tailbone down towards the floor. We go right into our circle. So we're going to inhale, take it across and around. One. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Let's just do two more. Love the TheraBand. And reverse it. One. And two. No tension in the neck. And three. And four. And five. One more. Hold. Grab it with the left hand. Open the right arm and take that left leg across and stretch. And bring it back to center. Both hands and we switch sides. Take a look. Square those hips off. Press that right thigh down down into your mat and getting a little bit of a hamstring stretch. Just make sure there's no tension building up in the neck, the chest, the shoulders. And keeping that foot in that dorsiflexed position. Let's go into our circle. We inhale. We exhale. We inhale. Let the hip 
or let the leg and the hip move. Exhale, two more. Inhale and exhale. Reverse. I just think of nice fluid movement in that hip socket. Two and three and four. Two more. Inhale, five. Exhale, six. Hold and opposite hand and take it across. And breathe, opening the chest, reaching the arms. Bring it back, both hands. Take both feet into your TheraBand, slightly separating them. Draw those elbows in, keep that pelvis in neutral. And as you exhale, open the thighs and return. And two. And return. And three. Return. You really want to have your heaviest TheraBand for this. Four. And exhale. Five. And six. Exhale. Seven. And eight. Two more. Nine. Give me one more. Hold. Feel the side of the glutes. Internal rotators are working. Abductors are working right there. I'm feeling my glute. And bring it back together. Go ahead and just loosen the TheraBand a tiny bit. Lower your legs all the way down. We're going to do one feel-good roll up. Inhale and exhale. And straighten the back. Draw the knees in, hang on to your TheraBand, doubling it up, and regular rolling like a ball, but you're gonna hold on to this. You're here, pull those feet in right next to your sit bones. Elbows are out, I'd say not directly horizontal, but not squeezing, right about in the middle. As I inhale, I roll it back, and return again. I roll and return and three and four. One more and five. Now hold. What I want you to do is take the TheraBand, keep it half folded, and put it right there. Same thing. Inhale. And up. Again. And I actually teach rolling like a ball like this. Every so often. And two more. And one more. Hold. Straighten the legs. Flex the feet. I'm just going to scoop back. Get a little tall. Stretch it all out. Let's lift, hold, bend the knees, and start to roll down. Make sure you have room behind you. We go into our abdominal series. Slowly, 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 slowly. Float those knees in, tabletop. Always like to take a look. Arms will reach overhead. We inhale. One, and two. And three. And you're pulling the TheraBand away from each other. Four. Last one. Five. Now hold. Bring the knees in. Keep those arms right where they are. Inhale. One. And two. And again, I think of my chest going towards my knees. Three. Not my head, but my chest. Four. Last one. Five, hold it there, lower the chest, lift the legs, flex, external rotation, inhale, point the feet up, flex them down, two, point the feet up, and three, and up, stabilization of the trunk, four, and up, and five, last one. Parallel, tabletop, 
lift, hold it there, reach that right leg forward, single leg stretch is one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, two more like that, eight, hold, I said one, two more, I'm at one more, sorry about that gang, pull this right here, and one, and two, a little bit of extra hip flexor work, four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Let's do two more, nine. Hold, bring both those knees in, reach those hands behind you, and then rotate to your right, right knee comes in, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10, bring it in, lower it down, lift the legs up, lower your right leg, two pulses, hamstring pull one with the trunk down, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, last two, seven, keep the legs going, eight, bring it up, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, add that good old rotation, one, and two, and three, and four, stay lifted, five, and six, and seven, and eight, last two, nine, and ten, now hold, lift those legs, hold those legs up there, and I want you to just reach, one, reach a little bit higher, two, reach a little bit more, three, Last one, four, and a hold. Reach it all the way down. Bend the knees, little tiny reverse curls. One, exhale, two, exhale, three, exhale, four, two more for me, five, and hold, tabletop. Lower that left foot. Take your right foot into your TheraBand. Nice job, everybody. All right. So let's pull the TheraBands. We're going to do our pelvic curl here, similar to our shoulder bridge, but we're going to push against this TheraBand. I breathe in. I exhale. I lift. I inhale. I lower. And I think of length on the right side of my trunk. And two. And exhale down. So I'm going to take a little look right there. I'm a little off. And three. And we have five. Exhale. Push down in that left foot. And one more. And lower, and we switch. I keep those hips nice and even. Pull this in, great for a glute strengthener, and we all need to keep those glutes strong. I breathe in, I exhale. Inhale, and again, we have four. Four more, that is. And slowly. And I'm using my hip extensor to lift, but I also have to remind myself to release my hip flexor on that right side. Just as important what to release as what to activate. And last two. Reach that heel to the ceiling of that left foot. And last one. and all the way down. And go ahead, release that leg, scoot down just a little bit, and we're gonna go right into our rollover. So place your TheraBand next to you. You won't need it for a few moments. We're gonna do our rollover, rollover, reverse. So we start in that tabletop. Anchor those arms down, draw those abdominals in. As you breathe out, reach them out. Inhale. 
I flex, I think of my spine staying long. Open, lower, but try not to sink. And point, bring those legs down again. So flex, open. The tendency is that as soon as those feet go down, so does the spine. No, I think of elongating. And we'll do one more like this. I flex, open, lower. Now, bring the legs apart, reverse. Flex together, lower, but I'm not going to sink. I'm going to continue to lengthen, controlling, using my abdominals to slow it down. And again. Flex together, lower. And last one. Flex together, lower, and roll. Bend the knees right here and bring it up. Seated, we go right into our spine stretch forward. So pull your pants up if you need to. Fix anything you need to. Grab your TheraBend. We're going to do the spine stretch forward with the flat back variation. So my feet are apart, dorsiflexed, my arms are shoulder distance, and try not to fold it in half, because for the next exercise you're going to want it open. So I'm just going to take a look, make sure that I'm not splaying those darn ribs forward. My nemesis. I breathe in at the top. Now from here, I want you to feel this position. So take it to wherever you can. Don't worry about how low you are, but think how long can you go. And then reach forward and roll. And again, I inhale and from there, using my back extensors. I'm reaching long. It's about length and and again. Forward. And I start with my lower back, mid back, upper back, shoulders, cervical spine. I want to go through that process all the way to the top of the head, to the tip of the fingertips. Can I get a little bit longer, but still keep my scapula in its position? And then reach forward. And let's do one more. So good. Breathe in. And, and let's reach up, up, up. Up, up, up. Scapula down, down, down. Hold. Use your upper back. I'm going to try to get out of using my lower back. I want to get my upper back. And feel where you need to work more, but also feel where you need to work less. And then we open those arms. We're going to go right into our saw. So you're here. Palms are facing forward. We inhale. We reach forward. Exhale. We come back up. Open. So we're doing our bassy saw. We rotate. We get tall. We reach, we keep that length. We go to that L, open, center. I rotate, I reach. I come up and center. I rotate, I reach. I come up and center. Rotate, I love using the TheraBand. And up and one more, rotate and reach. Come up and center. Go ahead and let that go just for a second. 
come up onto your knees and we're going to do the Bassy Pull series. So again, if you need to pull the pants up, go ahead. So instead of the pole, we're going to use the TheraBand. I like to do this kneeling or standing just to get me out of that seated position. And we have the arms. We inhale. So let's first make sure those hips are pressing slightly forward rather than slightly back. Again, cue I use a lot. Take your tailbone down, and as you're taking that down, lift your pubic bone up. And all I'm wanting them to do is get that pelvis into a better position. Arms are down. We inhale. We reach the TheraBand up. Now here's where I see if I'm in the right position. I want the arms to be at a 90 degree angle at the elbow joint. I'm going to just cheat those elbows slightly forward. I go right back up and down. But I want to work a little harder, so I'm going to make it a little tighter and have to pull a little bit more. I inhale. When I bend, I want that 90 degree angle up and down. And inhale. And exhale. And up and down. Last two. Breathe in. And now feel like you're pulling it apart. And up. And last one. We lift it up. We pull. We go up. We go all the way overhead. Make it as wide as you need to. We inhale and up. And inhale and down. I should do this every day. Inhale and over. Not letting the ribs pop. Inhale and down. Two more. Up and down. And up. I know. I try not to hyperextend in my elbows. And that was your last one. Up and over. Now bring it up. Let's go into a side stretch. So we'll reach those arms out. Again, reestablish that position. I even think of using my adductors to keep that connection through that pelvic floor. I inhale over. Exhale, and again, I imagine I'm against a wall. Lateral flexion, not changing where the arms are in relation to the trunk, but laterally flexing at the spine. And we'll do one more each direction. And last one. And we do our spine twist, two pulses. Inhale, exhale. Keep the ribs popping, or pulling back, not popping back, pulling back. And last time to the left. And bring it up and over. Just place it down on the floor or on your mat, because you're going to need it. Don't throw it away yet. And we're going to do a gentle hip flexor stretch. So I want you to come into a front knee, in the front is bent, and lifting up. And nothing crazy and fancy, but let's get that nice position. It's not about dumping into the pelvis, which I like to do. No, it's about squaring the hips. It's about finding your correct position and then pulling up in the front, down in the back. Hold that position. Reach those arms out. Just reach. Hold it there and then maybe lift. Hold that. We have four. We have three. If you need to keep the knee bent a little bit, that's fine. We have two. We have one. We come down. We do the same thing on the other side. So much hip flexion in our mat work. If I can throw in a nice hip flexor stretch, I like to. You can keep the foot with the ball of the foot or the top of the foot for this first portion. I actually like the ball of the foot. I feel like I get a little bit more. And again, we're not going to dump into it. I have to pull back a little bit. 
hold, tuck that tailbone down, reach those arms, pull up through that pelvic floor, and then lift. I'm gonna scoot that foot out a little bit so I can get a little bit more, and breathe, four, and three, and two, and one. Gently come down. Take a seat, grab your TheraBand, and gotta do our open leg rocker. All right, so, yikes. We're gonna have our feet apart, and make sure I'm in the right position. So grab onto your TheraBand, hinge back, lift those legs, and reach those arms. I never know how this is gonna go. And as I inhale, I'm hoping I don't hit my risers, I'm gonna roll back, and I'm gonna roll up, almost lost it, again. I roll, and I come up, with control, again. Roll, and then lift, and two more. One more. Hold. Now bend your knees. Take the TheraBand. Take it over to the side. Just go ahead and place it on that end. Roll down. We have our corkscrew advanced. We take the legs out. No band. Inhale. Three each direction. I want you to take it over. Roll and just move that body. And other side. Nice flow in the exercise. One more. And last one. And go to center, bend the knees, and gently roll down. Pull them in, give them a hug, gently turn that head side to side. Now straightening your legs out, we're going to go into our side kick. So we're going to do a few variations. We're going to do them on the forearms today. I want you to grab one end of your TheraBand, hold that side. The other arm is going to reach forward. Make sure that it's not so heavy that you can't lift it. So we're going to be here. I'm going to lift up on that rib cage, activating those obliques. And now lift the leg, flex the foot, and two pulses forward as the arm comes up. Two. And three. And four. And five. And six. We have eight. And seven. One more is eight. Now hold it there. Cross that foot and simply lift up and down. And two. And down. Exhale. Three. And down. And four, we'll do five. And last one. And down. Coming all the way to the other side. And we'll do the same thing. All right, so kind of a theme today. Forearm planks. So we're here. Make sure that we're lifting. Lift that top leg up, flex it. As you exhale, eight kicks. And three. And four. Stay lifted, five. And six. Two more. Seven. Last one, eight. And bring it back, cross. We have five. We lift up 
and damn, just checking my elbow, and two, and down. Use the whole right side of your body. Three, even the glute, and four, and one more, five, and bring it down. Now, come all the way onto your knees. We're going to go into a thigh stretch. And I'm sorry, ahead of time. So we're going to reach those arms forward. We're going to think of those inner thighs working. We're going to slightly tuck. As I inhale, I'm going to hinge. I'm going to hold. I'm going to lift arms and up. Oh, my quadriceps. And two more, just three. Tuck and hinge and lift and whoo! And one more. We can do it. And anything that's extra challenging, I say I need to do more. Hold. Lift those arms. Bring it back. And all right, I feel like I needed to do one more. That was not good. I let it go. I could feel it. Tuck. Inner thighs, lower abs. Hold. Hold your position and then reach, but don't let your abs go. Yes. And bring it down. All right, we survived the thigh stretch. Take your TheraBand and wrap it around like a little scarf. Kinda. I want it to be right around the ribs, and then you're going to bring it forward. And the tighter you have it, the more challenging this is. We're going to do some push-ups. So we come down into our quadruped position. I'm just going to make sure I got a good position. I place the TheraBand so it's under my palm. There. The arms are in line with the shoulders. I bring it into my plank position. I inhale, I bend the elbows. One. Two. Three. And four. And five. Come into that quadruped position, hold it there, and gently round and take it through neutral, and arch, and round. This is your rest, and arch, and we have one more, rounding, and then arching, and guess what? We have our second and final set of our push-ups. We step it out, step it out. Push the floor away from you. Establish that position. And inhale. One. You don't have to go far, but try not to wing that scapula. Two. So as I'm bending my elbows, I'm trying not to adduct it. Three. Two more. Oof. Four. Last one. And come down. Relax those shoulders for a second. Breathe. Let it go. Okay. Coming back up. Now, this is kind of crazy, but let's do it. You're going to take your TheraBand, and you're going to wrap it around the bottom of your right foot. You're going to grab the two ends. You're going to be in your quadruped position. I just want to even it out. Make sure that it's all the way across the bottom of the foot. We don't want it sliding out. So we're in this quadruped, just make sure you're there, and I'll wait, and I step that other foot, left foot's going to go to my plank position. I'm going to float the right foot up. I inhale, exhale, one, and two. The pelvis may lift a little bit, it's okay, because I want to bring that knee in. Three, and four, and five. And six, two more, seven, one more is eight. 
Bring that knee down, bring the other knee down. Now, keep your left hand right where it is, switch, and then switch the hands. And we have eight on the other side. So we're on that full body block. I'm just gonna fix this. There we go. Adding resistance to that hip extension. That's a good thing. I feel like I need to even it out. If you need to, just pause me. Get it so it's correct. There we go. Okay. Quadruped. I use my spinal extensors, but I've got to use my abductors with it. I step one foot. I float. I press out and in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring it in. Now, bring your TheraBand to the front of your mat. Come down into your forearm position. Step out, forearm plank. Interlace the fingers. Breathe. Now, keep your feet as they are. Think of tucking your pelvis a little bit more. Gently bring the knees down. Tuck, lower to the top of the feet. Tuck even more and bring your chest forward. Finding your single leg kick. So let's open those shoulders. Make sure that you're not lifting up too much with that cervical. Float those legs. And right, kick, right foot, two kicks. And exhale, and exhale, and inhale. Just keep it breathing. Exhale, and exhale, and active legs. And exhale, and exhale, and inhale, and inhale. Two more sets. And inhale, one more set. Exhale, exhale, and inhale, and inhale. Now hold those legs. Reach. And then bring it all down. Grabbing your TheraBand. We're going to do a little variation of our breast stroke. So, we're going to bend the elbows. We're going to float the nose. I want you to think of drawing that tailbone towards those heels. If it's more comfortable in your extension to open the legs, please do. So as we inhale, we lift the arms. We take them over. We bring them back. We bend and everything comes down. We lift, we reach, we reach over, we bring it back. We bend and down. Float it. Shoulder flexion. Reach those arms. And bend. And give me two more. We lift. We extend. Up. Reach. Bend. And last one. Up and over and reach and bend and lower. Go ahead and put your TheraBand in your corner right there. We're going to do our Bassy Swan Dive Prep with a catch. So some of you, some of you may not have learned this yet. So let's do it together. It's very similar to the swan dive and the swan dive prep. I really like it, so I'm going to share it with you. So you're going to go into your regular position for your swan dive prep. But instead of just coming straight down, you'll lower down, hands will go under the head. When we lift up, we go into our swan position. So if you want to watch, if we'll do two, and then we'll do it all together. So let's inhale. We're going to lift up into that swan position. As we exhale, we come down, we go up. We come down, we go up. All right, so let's do it together. We have six. Legs can be about hip distance apart. Just don't forget to use those adductors. As I inhale, I feel that leg 
I exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lower. Pull back. Rest position. Stretch it out. Take a moment. We're almost there, gang. Breathe. Roll it up. Now grab your TheraBand. Let's do five back supports. Open up those hips in case they're not ready for a few teasers. And let's have the fingertips facing us. Let's have the legs together. I know in Bassy now we teach it with hip distance. Well, let's do that. So we'll do our Bassy back support. I'm hinging at the hip joint as I exhale. And inhale. And and down. And three. And four. And we have one more. And down. Shake it out. Grab your TheraBand. All right. So we can't have a mat class without some teasers. Never. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little teaser variation with rotation. It's a lot of fun. Make sure you have room behind you and it's kind of like putting a little teaser three in there. So we'll do it together. Let's take our legs into our tabletop. Finding your position. You're holding on to your TheraBand. Reach your legs. Reach your arms forward. Now find your teaser. You're going to inhale, rotate, and center. Rotate, and center. And roll, reach, again. Bring it up. And rotate. I'm going to make mine a little narrower. And rotate. And exhale. And, oh, my risers are in my way. We can't have that. Got to do it again, gang. I felt stifled with those risers. My apologies, but we want them to be good. All right, here we go. So we're going to rotate. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And one more time. So we're going to inhale it up. Exhale to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale, and we need to do it one more time. I felt like it took me a few to feel good with it. And again, we rotate and center. We rotate and center and roll. And bring it up. Finish it on the up. Hold. Lift, 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 lift. Just go a little higher wherever you are, even if you fall. And bring it in. Seal puppy. No TheraBand. Toss that TheraBand. And then one foot. And the other foot. Oh, love the TheraBand. And let's find the position. And as we inhale, let's roll it back. articulation. So we're trying to go pelvis, lumbar, thoracic, cervical. And last one. 
And not too much weight on that cervical. Let's see if we can keep the cervical out. And lower. And stretch forward and then straighten the legs. And roll it up. Sit nice and tall. Circle those shoulders. And reverse. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.